My name's Joshua Luke, and this is the Dugong One Challenge, filmed on the 8th of the 9th, 2021, um, for the Dietary Habits Questionnaire. Hi, Jacinta. Hello. We're doing the Dietary Habits Questionnaire. We've already done your PT personal profile and your APSS screening tool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so today, it's just generally what we'll go through is... We'll go through the dietary habits questionnaire. Um, I'll we we'll put down your serves of food. I'll tell you what I can and can't do as a personal trainer. Um, we'll come to the conclusion as to whether or not you want to be referred, um, and then we'll come up with some strategies to help you with your um, goals. And I'll also give you some information on sort of how much kilojoules you should be consuming each day, how much you are consuming, um, and sort of where we can add and remove foods to help assist with um, achieving that goal, okay? Okay. So, we've got you down here. So, how many serves of vegetables do you usually eat per day? Oh, I don't eat enough. So, zero to one, okay. How many serves of fruit do you eat per day? I eat a lot of fruit. I eat heaps of dried fruit too as snacks. Okay, so we'll go six plus. Um, how many serves of bread and cereals do you usually eat per day? Oh, like a normal, normal amount. Okay, so two to three serves per day. Yeah. 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 And how many serves of dairy do you consume per day? Well, I eat, I eat a bit of, bit of dairy, a little yogurt, milk with my cereal for breakfast. I love cheese. Okay, so we'll go four to five. And how many serves of meat or alternatives do you consume per day? Oh, I eat meat with every meal. Okay, so we'll go uh, four to five serves. And then, so looking at the list below, how many discretionary choices do you think you have in one week? So it says you eat a lot of crackers. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I love, I love it. So we'll just say four to six yep. per week. Okay. Um, it's not too bad, four to six per week, to be honest. So we won't worry too much about that. Uh, based on the question in your uh, study there, we will refer you um, on for some uh, assistance just based on that information that you give me there about high cholesterol. Um, so, as a personal trainer, I can't exactly give you specific diets on what you should and shouldn't eat to help you achieve a certain goal, um, or if you have any specific health issues that may require um, more expertise, all I can do is give you guidance based on um, the Australian Dietary Guidelines um, and they're pretty straightforward and I just work through them um, and we will come up with something together uh, to help you achieve it but to give you a bit of information um, the first guideline is to achieve and maintain a healthy weight be physically active and choose amounts of nutritious foods and drinks to meet your energy needs Enjoy a wide variety. Number two is enjoy a wide variety of nutritious foods from these five food groups. So we've got vegetables, fruit, grain foods like bread, cereal, rice, pasta, lean meats, poultry, fish, eggs, tofu, nuts, milk, yogurt, cheese, and then we want to drink plenty of water as well. And guideline three is we want to limit the intake of foods containing saturated fat, added salt, added sugars, and alcohol. Guideline four is encourage and support breastfeeding. And guideline five is care for your food and store it properly. Um, so based on the information you've given me, I've got you down here as your current intake. So we've got grain with the amount of serves you have as in grain. Uh, what do we have first? Vegetables. So we had zero to one there, so I didn't put any kilojoules there. Um, serves of fruit because we've got six plus and the amount of snacks you told me that you had I've uh, rounded that up a little bit higher um, so we've got 2,800 kilojoules there um, sorry 
So right here is the information based on uh, general serving. So grain, grain foods is 500 kilojoules per serve. Your leafy greens are quite, like, have a lot of variety in how many kilojoules they are, but they don't go higher than 350 um, kilojoules per serve. Your milk and yogurt is 500 to 600 kilojoules per serve. Lean meat is 500 to 600 per serve. And all your discretionary choices are about 600 per serve. Um, so I've put you down with 2,800 kilojoules for fruit. Uh, I've put you down uh, with your breads and cereals. I've put you down as 1,000 kilojoules. Uh, with your serves of dairy, because it's quite high, I've put you down as 2,500 kilojoules. Uh, your serves of meat is four to five serves per day, so we've got you down as 2,500 kilojoules. And we just, uh, with your four to six serves per week, we just add the extra 600 on there for your discretionary choices, um, which brings you up to 9,400 kilojoules per day. Now, based on the Eat for Health guidelines. Uh, a woman of your age should be consuming five serves of veggies a day, two serves of fruit, six serves of grains, two and a half grams serves of lean meat, and two and a half serves of dairy. So obviously you're not eating any veggies. Uh, very high servings of fruit. Grains could be more. Uh, lean meat obviously high as well and dairy obviously very high and things like dairy uh, are very high in calories especially if you're not choosing the low fat low sugar options um, but you should be averaging about 6,600 kilojoules of energy per day um, in your age group now also we have in there extra kilojoules when we're going to be uh, implementing exercise. So if we were to have you, we've got you doing moderate to vigorous, which means we'll be adding either 3,000 or 4,100. But because your intake is quite high and you're looking to lose weight, I would say we'd stick around the moderate extra add add add-ins. So about 3,000 onto that 6,600, but maybe even less because in order to lose weight, you need to be eating less. If you consume more food than the energy you need, then you won't lose weight no matter how hard you try. So you always need to be in what's called a calorie deficit or kilojoule deficit. So to come up with some of the strategies I've come up, come up with for you, so obviously you eat quite a high amount of these snacks. Um, the dried fruit snacks are very high in sugar. Uh, they're not ideal snacks, but you obviously do enjoy fruit. So what I would recommend is just sticking to normal fruit. Let's try and remove the snacks out of your diet the best we can. I understand this is it's not always easy, but I've got you down here to remove the dried fruit snacks and just eat plain fruit. Now you've got yourself eating three meals uh, a day and then three snacks uh, you also got that you like eating nuts there which is good so what I would do is I would stick to your three main meals now for your snacks between breakfast and after lunch I would just have two snacks and try to avoid snacking after dinner because that's when we tend to eat quite high calorie foods that obviously aren't best options so if you're happy what I would suggest is after breakfast, a couple of hours after breakfast, just have a handful of nuts, so one serve of nuts and a piece of fruit. That works for you, does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. And then after lunch, we'll do the same thing, um, a piece of fruit and some nuts, or you can even have a couple of crackers with some low fat cheese if you wanna do that as well, that's fine. Obviously, we don't wanna have high levels of servings, just a small amount there as well. But always want to try and get those two serves of fruit in each day. Um, 
when you do tend to snack on the things you like your high dairy foods, your yogurts, we do need to lower the intake there. We need to dial that back the best we can. Uh, if you're struggling to dial it back, um, obviously you're gonna be referred on to see if they can come up with But what I would suggest is whenever you do eat your yogurt, milks, cheese, just go low fat. Um, remove, uh, try and stay away from the full fat options as they're quite high in calories. You can have much lower calorie options, which will be better in your overall energy intake. And remember, we need to eat less than what we are using. Mm -hmm. um, your cereals are okay, because you're eating whole grain. Um, you could stick, maybe stick to light milk with your cereals as well. I've got that down here. Uh, I've also got a strategy here as we should lower uh, your high amounts of meat. Um, obviously, if you're eating quite meat dense meals for your three main meals, uh, or for your, obviously for your last two meals, it's okay to have meat, but we need to dial that back to the serving size. So I would have one serve of meat in the for your lunch, and then your one and a half for dinner. Okay, and I would. To, Add the extra calories there. So if you're only having a serve of meat, add in some rice and we need to get that veggie intake quite high. So we pick the veggies you like. If you want to have salad, salad's good because salad's really low on the, on the kilojoule intake. So you could have much more salad than you can uh, sort of your general veggies like your legumes and lentils and things like that. They're quite high, they're higher on the scale. So if we add in some rice, I would say basmati rice. If you like white rice, if you don't like brown rice, myself, I can't stand brown rice, but basmati rice is quite is much lower in calories than the rest of uh, rice alternatives. And I have also, also suggest that we should, when you are eating meats, try and add a serve of fish in each day because they're quite high in a lot of other good things like your vitamins, fatty acids, things like that, your omega-3s. Um, they're going to be very beneficial to your overall health as well. And then, like we said before, before, the snacks between first and second meal, handful of nuts, but otherwise, that's the plan I've come up with. Mm -hmm. If that sounds like it works for you, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll try and implement this the best we can, mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens with your referral. Happy with that? Sounds great. Oh, thanks, Jacinta. Thank you. Oh, well.